Well, 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 how about that for an intro? Have you ever been introduced by a drone before? I don't even have to say my name is Bradley Hasemeyer or that we're at the Acura Proving Grounds. I should point out though that today is a lucky day because I'm driving the completely redesigned Acura RDX before it even hits the market. I'm going to be comparing it to this, the Audi Q5. Of course, both of these SUVs will fit some of your needs, but we got to figure out which one ultimately ends up in your driveway. Let's go. Of course, when you're buying a car, what's the first thing you think about? How does it look? Yes, and the Audi Q5 has, well, a conservative look. They did update it, but it still retains that kind of vibe. On the inside, you'll find a clean, modern interior, which I do like, and the screen is nice and crisp, but the touchpad is in front of the shifter, making it awkward to use, especially when driving. And when it comes to the back seat, oh my gosh, if you're in the middle, you're totally out of luck. There's a high center tunnel. You got to figure out how to cram your legs in to make it fit. And they don't even give you USB ports. Come on, guys. And when it comes to cargo space, there's a good amount, but you won't find any under here with this big old spare tire. So with the Q5, you do get some nice optional features like a panoramic moonroof or heated front seats. But guess what? You got to pay extra for those. They should definitely be standard at this price point. All right, so now this is what I'm talking about. Even just walking up to the car, you get this sense of power and excitement. Take a look at these lines, huh? One of my favorite things to note here is the character line. It's essentially the line that runs from the diamond pentagon grille all the way down the side to the back and ends in those dragon tail taillights. If you drive a car with a dragon tail taillight, your day's automatically gonna be better. Another design feature that Acura did is they increased the wheelbase. And what this does is give you a more comfortable ride gives you more interior space and gives it a more overall powerful stance. Win, win, win all around. And that's just on the outside. Let's go in the car. Welcome to the lifestyles of the rich and famous inside here, baby. Yeah, look at this interior, huh? It's like you're in first class. You've got this leather wrapped sport steering wheel with paddle shifters, boom, 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 boom. So much power just in my hands and Look up, it's a bird, it's a plane. No, it's a giant panoramic moonroof, which comes standard, by the way. All this is based on Acura's precision cockpit, and I think it feels like first class. Of course, I don't really know what first class feels like because they flew me coach. Yeah, you did, you did. But I'm okay about that. One of the things I really love about this new interior is this 10.2 inch display. It's sharp, it's crisp, and it works with what I call the brilliant true touchpad interface. No hashtag fake news, only true touch here. Whatever you touch on the touchpad corresponds to the screen. There's no mouse, there's no buttons, there's no fumbling around, there's no reaching over here while you're trying to look at the nav and look, no, no. It's nice, it's clean, it's simple, and I don't know why anyone else has never done this before. And when it comes to audio, you've got premium speakers mounted high on the doors and available speakers mounted in the ceiling, yes. That means you're getting a front to back, side to side, and top to bottom audio experience. If the words floating center console sound like a zen meditation to you, well, that's good, because this beautiful area here brings you much peace and storage. In the middle, in the back, underneath, plus two USB ports. Thank you, Acura. Let's just pause for a second and take a minute to reflect on the beauty that is this front seat. It's rich Milano leather, perforated, so it's ventilated. That also means it can be heated. This thing can be adjusted up to 16 different ways. It's super comfortable, which is great for long road trips or just gazing at the moon through the moon roof. Of course, the people sitting in the front of the car have great leg room. Almost everyone offers that, but a lot of the competitors cram your friends in the back, especially your least favorite friend. You know what I'm talking about, middle seat. Yeah, middle seat Sammy is not happy in the other competitors' cars. But here, with no raised floor, he's thrilled. Oh, and also, there's two more USB charging ports back there. You don't have to talk to your kids. Plug them in. And this is an SUV, of course, so let's talk cargo. Back here, cargo is top notch. Check this out. Convenient underfloor storage. Yes, perfect for hiding all of those things that you don't want seen. And unique to this segment, ta-da, even more underfloor storage. Now, let's say you've got something large that you need to put back here. That's fine. Just pull these handles, boom, all seats fold flat. Now it's time to find out which one of these two has racing in its DNA. Oh, there we go, that's what I'm talking about. That's all thanks to the two liter turbo in this RDX. It delivers a surprisingly large amount of power and torque. And a lot of that torque is that zero to 30, so you're really gonna feel it as you're taking off. 
I really love how this cockpit's been designed around the driver. I've got this great steering wheel with paddle shifters right here. And if you want even more control, you can click through your different drive modes on the fly to help you connect better with the road. And this RDX features available Acura Super Handling all-wheel drive, which can distribute power from the front to the back to give it more agility and more control. And you really feel that when you're entering some of these curves. I mean, this does not drive like an SUV. All right, so if you're looking for something that's fun to drive, something with a little bit of punch and also control, this is the SUV for you. You know, Acura obviously didn't hold back one bit with this new RDX. All right, Q5, show me what you got. Okay, all right, a little bit of pickup there, yes. Takes a little time to get going, this is a big car. Once it does though, it's nice and smooth. Shifts are quick, which is good, although only seven speeds to work with here instead of the 10 from the RDX. And it's got a good feel, the corners are really flat, the Quattro all-wheel drive, of course, Audi is famous for that. Overall, it's a, it's a decent ride, but it's definitely missing that racing spirit from the RDX. Hey, no disappointment here. The all-new Acura RDX is bold and distinctive. This SUV also comes loaded with so many great standard features that you'll pay an arm and a leg for on other brands. And I prefer to keep my appendages, thank you. All right, so Audi has updated their styling this year, which is great, some sharper lines. Still a little bit conservative, and uh, they put in a faux exhaust panel in the back. That, to me, says they don't trust their own power. Now, when it comes to the RDX, this thing really stands out. What you see is what you get with this, and I absolutely love that. Not to mention the fact you're getting a car loaded with standard features that you're gonna have to pay a whole lot more for in something like an Audi, including Acura Watch Driver Assistance Technologies. Yes, a whole suite of features that I don't have time to tell you about. But now it's your turn. Head to Acura.com, make your own comparison. I gotta take off, I've got another job. I'm a land surveyor. All right, Bradley out, see you next time. It looks huge!